Yo, what's up guys, Mods here, back with another video, and today I'm gonna continue my Sony Vegas editing series that I started several months ago, but haven't had the chance to finish yet. And in this part, I'm gonna cover pan slash crop, or also known as P slash C, and it's one of the most important parts of an edit. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for me to continue this series, and if we get 100 likes in the first 24 hours of this video, um, I will drop the effects part uh, next week. And yeah, one more thing I'm gonna say here is that my commissions are open, I'm gonna accept any client edits, so if you guys want me to edit your clips um, for money, my pricing is $4 per clip, uh, USD, American dollars, and um, you can um, DM me on Twitter at mods himself, I'm gonna leave a link down below, uh, and yeah, enjoy the video. <laughs> And yeah, we're here in Vegas now, uh, and the last thing we did in the last video is to add sound effects. As you can see here, I will leave a link um, in the description down below to my uh, sound effects tutorial. And uh, we also added some uh, color correction, the slot filter effect over here. Um, you can see the difference between no color correction and not. But our topic today is pan slash crop. Um, you can find the past band slash crop icon in Vegas. It's the one um, right here. It's this little icon next to effects. So if you press it, it's gonna bring up this window over here. And you can uh, see by dragging this box, the preview here, you can zoom in and zoom out. You know what I'm talking about. So let me just restore this for a second and delete the point that I added. Um, uh, so Pan slash crop is actually like the zoom in and zoom out of the video. It's most, uh, I told you, it's uh, one of the most important parts of an edit. And um, you can start by um, selecting uh, the part where you want to zoom in. I actually prefer to zoom in when I open the scope and not on the shot. So I open the scope here. So on this frame, my scope, my scope opens. Uh, before you do anything here, make sure this icon right here is selected. Uh, make sure it's glowing uh, blue. So um, it works out for you. Then go to this frame where you open the scope or where you want to zoom in. And um, go back three frames. So one, two, three. And add a point here. And press on this one over here. And go one, two, three. One, two, three. So actually, six frames away from this point. And go to the frame on the right that you added and drag this box in a little bit. Uh, do not drag it too much. Like, this will not look good. So drag just a little bit here. And go to your previous, previous frame and do slow. Right click on it and do slow. And let me show you how it looks, one sec. So you can see the zoom in here. Um, but I want my scope. Uh, I want the actual scope or screen uh, to zoom out when I shoot. So this is the frame that we added um, the zoom into. You can see like when I move the frames, it zooms into the screen and I shoot on this frame over here so I want to zoom out on this um, on this frame so you press on this same thing do one two three and add a point to the left one two three to the left and add a point and one two three to the right and another one two three to the right and add up another point and as you can see this point is zoomed in right here Go to the other point, it's also zoomed in, but like zoom it a little bit more, just a little bit, uh, don't zoom it too much. Then go to this one and do sh smooth, smooth fade. Then go to this one um, and do fast fade. And go to the last frame that you added, uh, last uh, actual point, and drag it out a little bit. Not uh, all the way, but like drag it out so you can zoom out of it and do um uh, you don't have to do anything for this just keep it as it is now let, let us preview this so as you can see it zooms in on the scope 
and then zooms out right here. You can do um, a zoom in also on this frame over here. So on this beat, but I prefer not to uh, make it over edited or something, but you can do that. And uh, you can also do pan slash crop for transitions. So you go to the end of the first clip, open up this window again, add a point. Uh, at the end of the clip, go one, two, three, four, five, six to the left, add another point, and go to the end point, like the last point, and do a zoom in. And uh, go to this one over here and do slow. So it's gonna zoom in for that transition. And you go to the second clip, actually. You can do pen slash graph for the rest of the clips. Uh, I prefer to use this part, it makes it um, way faster and way easier. So you right click this clip right here, go to copy, yeah. Press on the second clip over here, right click, selectively paste event attributes and select um, select video event pan slash crop settings. Select it and do OK. It's gonna repeat the pan slash crop that you did from this clip to this one over here. That will save you a lot of time. But you gotta do something here. since we um, ended this clip with a zoom in you gotta start the next clip with a actual zoom in too if that makes any sense um you can go to the pan slash wrap on the second clip and go one two three four five six and add a point go to the first point that you have and zoom in a little bit to like this part over here the same zoom as you did here so this zoom over here you can do right click copy on this um, point over here go to the next clip and paste it at the start so copy and then um, paste it over here too so you have the same one at the start and six frames to the, to the right and zoom it in a little bit more and do fast fade on the first um, point over here. Um, but if you can see here, this frame doesn't match this frame. This frame here is zoomed out of it, and this one is zoomed in. You gotta fix that. Um, so gotta zoom in on this one over here. So this one is zoomed. This one is a little bit um, zoomed and um, this one should be a little bit zoomed so I know this is confusing but you'll get the hang of it once you do it more uh, I didn't like under understand it from the start so so this starts in zoom zooms in a little bit more and um, zooms out a little bit and when I shoot here when I actually open the scope not shoot um, it's kind of not synced well because if you can see here um, that's one of the consequences of using the copy and paste method so you can press back on this highlight these two frames over here uh, press back on this and the marker the actual um, timeline should be in the middle of these two points yeah and you gotta do it for the rest of the ones so let me just highlight these two points over here and drag them to the middle of this um, in between the timeline um, then you can go back and we added this little zoom out over here let me zoom it out more so it's kind of zoomed in a little bit zooms out and then zooms in at the shot uh, on the shot, you gotta zoom it more so like you get that impact when you shoot. So let's see how it um, looks. So that's um, that's so good for me. Like it looks professional and um, it actually looks good. And then uh, you gotta do it for the rest of the edit. Uh, do it like copy and paste it to the clips and I want to finish this clip before I haven't finished yet so you go to this over here 
it's kind of zoomed in on the shot same thing and go to the end of the clip the one six frames before the end and you gotta zoom it in because this one is zoomed in this one can't be zoomed out all the way so this one is zoomed in and this is zoomed in more so it's gonna zoom out a little bit and then zoom out more um, to the end of the clip make sure this is slow over here so that's that's the And then you can do it for the rest of your clips. I'm gonna uh, just skip ahead at this one over here, but I'm gonna show how I did the the points over here. Yeah, see you there. Um, so I went ahead and did it for the last clip of the edit. It's the exact same thing, just um, same keyframes on the beats. Um, this song, um, if we drag it down, it has the same beat pattern over and over again. So that's why I do copy and paste selectively paste event attributes and i went ahead and did it for this one let me show you how it looks so same thing first beat open scope zoom in and second beat zoom out when he shoots and the transition at the end let me pre-render this first you can pre-render your edit if it lags by um pressing shift plus b it's gonna pre-render your um, edit and let's see how it looks and yeah you can't get it better than this I mean you can probably get it better than this um, by um, like improving the points and improving the zoom um, getting it right every time but like this is a tutorial so I'm, I'm just um, letting you know how to do it you can like do stuff by yourself and see how it looks good what looks good and yeah i'll see you guys soon in my next tutorial uh, make sure to drop that like button i'm gonna release release it soon um, if i get 100 likes on this in the first 24 hours and i'm gonna drop the effects tutorial next week um the effects one is like the most re requested tutorial but like pen slash crop is done um before effects so I gotta do this one before effects. Now our edit is almost done. We also we only need to add effects and um, and render the edit and to look um, like the one I'm gonna preview right now. Go.